So welcome back to Sawmill Station. This is our last day here for the year. Big kind of day today. This is a ride that, you know, those of you who followed for the last couple of years, you've seen this ride. I'm gonna try and just put in the good parts. This is an out and back and it is pretty far total. I think it's around 75, 78 miles or something total out and back. There is a really great 50 inch trail that we have to take out and back, but a lot of roads otherwise. We are going up to Twin Peaks Lookout. It's one of the highest in use fire lookouts in the Western United States. Really pretty views up there. But yeah, that's where we're headed. While we're cruising along, you know, I, I wanna just give a little shout out again to Sawmill Station. Not a lot because, you know, I did kind of overdo it in the first episode of this series. But you know, I just, I wanna point out that all of these rides, all six of these days have been right out of Sawmill Station. I mean, we didn't trailer anywhere you know and I, and I think that says a lot you know about about the location of it and again yeah they've got rv spots they've got cabins they've got laundry they've got showers they, you can rent a side-by-side -side gas station you know restaurant i mean they literally it's a one-stop shop but anyway a lot of my rides yeah about showing you what some of these areas look like but i feel like part of my job is to give you some ideas of of where to stay and this place i mean this whole area as you've seen if you've watched all these all these episodes in this series thank you so much but you've seen this is this is some beautiful country and it's a good location you know as a base camp to ride this country but anyway that's all i want to say about it but i just want to shout out to them and thank them for for being hospitable to our to our group again Again, I want to thank Diana for, you know, bringing this up. She just mentioned that she was going to Sawmill Station over the 4th of July week. And, you know, does anybody want to go along? And I don't know if she realized how many people were going to show up. There were many. And, you know, thank her for the invite. And thank everyone else for showing up. Thanks. You know, it's good to see these old friends again. Good to ride with these old friends. And any excuse we get to, to be together is just, is just a bonus on top of this great riding experience up here. Yeah, Twin Peaks. Look out, here we come. may not look like much but this little switchback right here is pretty steep pretty curvy pretty sharp 
yeah, the angle of the camera does not do it. You, you kind of have to hug the inside, otherwise you're going to tip inside. And you can see some most of the, the right rear wheels are off the ground, kind of hovering around us because it's leaning into the mountain. It's a, it's a pretty fun little switchback. It's way easier going up than it is going down, but you have to just kind of commit, stay inside. Not a big deal. But yeah, we stop for a little bit of a lunch, and then we are heading up the main road, and yeah, we're, we're just about there. like the last one shall we do everything well okay I didn't show you everything but I showed you some cool stuff and the highlight at the end I mean that's what we went up there for was the view from that lookout and that's what this day was all about and now we're just gonna turn around go back the way we came and have a little fun along the way yeah this is the last nice. video from sawmill station next video you will see us at the 5th Annual Northwest Can-Am Maverick Trail Meet in Sumter, Oregon. That's where we're headed after this. Thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone that came to Sawmill Station. Thanks for everyone for riding with us. Thanks to everyone for letting us film you. Good to see you all and just freaking love you all. Thank you so much. See you in Sumter. That was awesome. Thank you.